Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to go over the image trace function in Lightburn and also the weld function. So to get started, uh, I'm going to focus first on the image trace. So we'll go to import and I'm going to go ahead and bring in this little owl cartoon here. Now notice he's full of colors and when that comes in, he's various levels of gray. This is going to do some interesting things with the image trace tool that um, I want to demonstrate. So highlight him and we'll go to tools and trace image. Now, when we trace image, it's looking at the difference between uh, light and dark to uh, draw where our uh, threshold is. Threshold is the operation that it's doing. And I want to get all of this black outline here. But the dark gray is really, really messing with it. Notice how it's picking up the enters on the light gray. But as it gets to the dark gray, it can't really differentiate between the black and the dark gray. So we can go up. And as we go up, we can see that it starts to really highlight uh, different areas. Now, if I want to get a better view of this, I can click the fade image and that will lighten up the image so that I can see the purple lines. And the purple lines are what our vectors are actually going to turn out to be. And we can pan and zoom in here just like we could in, in normal light burn. So we can really zoom in and see, make sure that we're getting the right image. And then if you want to see the actual vector points that are coming in, um, we can click the show points and, and see all of those as well. So I think a threshold of 200 looks pretty good. And if it's getting too sharp, uh, say you've got a really, really jaggy image. We can crank the smoothness and it will follow the curves a little less and really smooth out the lines. As we go down, it starts to get more and more jaggy. So I, I think a smoothness around one is pretty much where I usually like to stay. We'll click one. All right, so we'll click OK. And it's it's difficult to see what actually came in, but you can definitely tell something happened because now we have an image and a scan layer, or before we just had the image layer. So if you click, it had all of the uh, geometry that we created with the trace image function highlighted already. So now you can see we've got these vectors as well as the owl. Now, normally, I'll just click the raster image that we brought in and delete it because I'm done with it. And now we have this really nice vector art that we can edit, we can move around, or you know we can cut this out, or we can just scan the um, outlines. So if I wanted to do a preview real quick to see how he's going to look, I can um, click preview. And now we see that it's going to etch all of uh, the interior here. And we're going to get a really nice crisp outline of what that owl looks like. Um, by default, Lightburn has the show traversal moves turned on. And that's all this red in here. So if I turn those off, we can see specifically what's going to happen. And the slider bar is pretty handy. It'll show us how he's going to be created. So um, in my scan settings, I have a set to scan from the bottom up. And we'll go over that in a later video. It also gives me a time estimate based on my power and speed settings, which is pretty nice. So click OK. Now, I want to show you guys one other thing that I think is 
really neat and shows some of the power that you can utilize with this tool. So we'll delete the owl and we'll bring in some other geometry that I downloaded. And these are a couple animal silhouettes that I found on the internet. So we have a walrus silhouette and a butterfly silhouette. Now this is kind of goofy. Uh, this is something that I have done with um, Girl Scouts and younger kids as a workshop, but uh, now we can do this directly in a laser software, and I think that's pretty powerful. So first I'm going to select my walrus silhouette and trace the image. This is a pretty terrible silhouette. Um, this is one of those where turning up or down the smoothness will really change how it follows the lines. Um, but this is good enough for our purposes. So we'll get rid of the raster image. And again with the butterfly, this is a pretty terrible image, but Lightburn, it does a really excellent job of following this really, really rough edge here. And you know, if we wanted to get this a little sharper, we can turn the smoothness way down and it starts to turn into a sharper corner. Click OK. Get rid of our raster image. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the weld tool to combine these two and make a waller fly. And you know, this is very silly, but fun. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make these guys a little closer in size to each other. So I'm going to lock the aspect ratio and we'll turn this guy up to 100 millimeters. And I think this size works for right now. And I'm going to drag him over so that he's about where I want him. Now I want the wings to show up. And I want the walrus teeth to show up and the walrus tail, but I don't really want the butterfly body to cut off the walrus tail down here. And I want more of the butterfly's antenna to come out. So I'm going to turn off the aspect lock and use the warp tools to kind of rotate this guy and position him to be a little more where I want him to be. Drag him around. And as you're making these, uh, griffins is what we called them in the workshop. It takes a little bit of playing to get exactly what you want. But that's half the fun. I think that's pretty close. So now I will use control A to highlight everything in the drawing. And then the weld function in the toolbar. And voila, I have my waller fly. And basically what this does is it combines all of the outer lines and eliminates all, all of the inner lines. So if we wanted to get rid of any of this, these inner lines here, we could ungroup them and I could delete this and this. And now it's more of a silhouette and it could be you know, a fun wall hanger or something like that. But this is kind of a goofy exercise to demonstrate the power of what vector trace can do as well as the weld utility. So hope you guys pick something up in this one. And again, like always, be on the lookout for the next Lightburn tutorial. Thanks.